Good morning, George Adventure here. Uh, apologize, I didn't have my, I didn't do my Monday morning inspiration on Monday morning. I had a, uh, we had a funeral, so we drove up to North Carolina, uh, stayed in Asheville. Uh, my wife's aunt passed away; she was 88. Uh, it was, it's my daddy-in-law's sister, so they were raised up in Mars Hill, North Carolina, and it's a it's a little farming community up way up in the mountains. It's just beautiful up there. So we went there. We got back yesterday. So, so I want to want to go ahead and do it. And it it uh, it's late, but that's okay. Uh, so it brings me to a subject that uh, you know a lot of people don't like to talk about. And man, I'm not going to talk about it. You know, as far as a I'm gonna, I'm going to talk about it in a positive way, but. Uh, death, you know, death, death comes to us all. We lose our loved ones. Uh, you know, we lose, we lose people we love. That's, that is a fact of life and it's never going to change. We're all destined to die. Uh, not trying to be morbid, but, and I'll get to my point, but just like I lost my mother, you know, and, 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 you know, when you lose people you love like that, it, 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 it leaves kind of a void, you know, I miss my mom and, and I'm sure, you know, her, her family, my dad-in-law and all, they're going to miss her. Uh, she had a good life. She was 88 and, and we know where she went. Uh, so, you know, and it, 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 it's just, it's just a fact of life. We're born to die, you know, and, and, and I know there may be some people out there, and I may lose some subscribers. You know, when I when I talk about God, I may lose, I may lose some subscribers. But you know, I don't I don't care because you know I feel like my channel is success, successful because I've been blessed. You know, I've been blessed. God has blessed me with this. But you know, we we we're born we're born to die, and and we're not going to escape it. Uh, but the thing is, we 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 want to um, we want to live a life where when we do die, and what my goal is when we die, I want my want my my children to say my daddy was a good man. He loved us. He he did good things. He did what was right. And when when my grandchildren talk about me, I want them to say, "Sorry, man, this ragweed's tearing me up." Uh, so, you know, I want my grandchildren to be able to say, "My my pop my papa was was uh, he was a good man. He 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 loved us. He did good things. He he was a good man. You know, blah blah blah." I want my wife to be able to do that. My family, so my friends or whatever. So you want to, you, you know, while you're here, you want to, you want to make a good mark. Uh, you want to do good things. You want to, you want to leave a good footprint for people. Uh, you know, and, and you got to live each day. You, you know, the Bible tells you, you not to worry about tomorrow. You know, tomorrow will worry about itself. You know, so basically God wants us to just think about today. Don't think about yesterday. Don't think about tomorrow. Uh, he takes care of the birds. He says he takes care of the birds of the air. He feeds them. You know, the lilies of the field. He, he makes sure they have what they need. So so we're going to have what I need. But we are all going to face death one day. So you should think about that. And, and you know, we, we should always do the right thing things where we make a positive mark a positive impression on people we meet even strangers even strangers we want to you know we want to make a we want to make a positive impact on them uh treat people the right way you know and, there, and there's sometimes and and we're all we're all this way we get mad at people and we may say something that uh you know isn't right you know and if you if you feel like you've wronged somebody make it right you know don't don't go through the day don't go through this day and not tell your wife you love her your children you love them your grandchildren you love them 
your friends or whatever. Don't, don't, uh, don't go through life because you will regret it. Because once you're gone, you're gone. You can't change anything. Uh, I tell my wife every day that I love her. Every morning before I leave, she's still sleeping. She gets up later than me. Not a whole lot later, about an hour. I'll kiss her, kiss her several times. And while she's laying there, and I tell her I love her, then I leave. I tell my children every day. I tell them in a text. I call them. I always tell my grandchildren how much I love them. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your friends how you feel about them. I tell this knife community I'm part of, this video, this this knife community, how 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 blessed I am to be a part of this knife community, this this group of guys and gals. Uh, even though I hadn't mess, met most of you face to face, but I still feel the attachment. So I tell all of y'all, and I'm telling you now how important and thankful I am for y'all. Uh, you know, it's just a gr good group of people. So you don't want to you don't want to go through life and and take it for granted that you're going to be here tomorrow. I don't even know what's going to happen when I pull out of this gate and go up on the job. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, God has a plan for all of us. He has a time for all of us. Uh, and we don't know when, when. I'm 63 years old. I've had a great, great, great life. I've had some hard times. I've had some ups and downs and went through some tough times, just like everybody else does. We all do. We get through it and we go on. But I'm still here. I'm still here. Sun's still coming up. Uh, you know, the trees are still blooming, still turning red and yellow in the fall. So we just go on, you know, and, and be thankful for what we got and be thankful for who we got left. Uh, you know, I didn't want to lose my mother, but I knew I knew that, that it was time for her to go because she was suffering. So, you know, just live every day. Live, take one day at a time today. Today is your day. Don't worry about what you did yesterday. Don't worry about, unless you did somebody wrong, then you make it better. But don't think about tomorrow. Just focus on today. We all we all tend to do that. We tend to think about next month or next week. Oh, we're going to, I can't wait till, till December. I can't wait till, you know, we, you know just worry about tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a blessing that I'm sitting here in this car making this video. It's a blessing that God's let me live another day and got me here, especially coming to Atlanta. He's let, he's, he's allowed me to get here safely. Uh, so, you know, death's a part of life, but life, life is here and, and you live your life. God blesses us with life, and so he's always with us. He's always guiding us, and, and he's always, you know, blessing us, and he never he never leaves us. So, you know, I'll probably lose some subscribers, but, you know, I don't care. You know, it is what it is. Uh, this is this is a, a channel that, that I feel like God has blessed me with, and I'm going to talk about him. I'm going to talk about knives and I'm going to talk about outdoor stuff and hunting and whatever else, you know, I decide. Uh, so all you folks out there, I, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate y'all watching. You know, if you don't like this particular content, then on this, this video, you know, that's fine. Uh, but you know, if you want to watch it, that's fine. You don't have to comment or anything. Uh, I don't normally get negative con comments. I think I've had one, one or two. Uh, you know, I had one about the knife community as a whole, you know, which I didn't get the guy, but, you know, I did let it go. I didn't go back, you know, with nothing. So, you know, you just got people out there that's going to be negative. So, anyway, I hope this was a positive, you know, video. Uh, I don't want to be a Debbie, Debbie Downer talking about death, but it's a fact of life. But I want to talk about the positive things that we should think about while we're here. Uh, give thanks every day for being here, for being blessed. And every morning, 
every morning when I get up, I pray for my children by name. I pray for my grandchildren by name, my family by name. I thank God for the knife community. I thank God for my family. I thank God for my wife, my children, my grandchildren. I pray for them. My dad, my daddy-in-law, by name. You know. And if I see somebody suffering, I'm going to pray for them by name. And you might be somebody that's on this knife community that I may be praying for. So, uh, you know, just look at, take things in perspective about your life, like I said, and make the best of it. Leave, the, leave a great impression because you don't know when your time's coming. So leave a great impression with people. Leave, you know, make sure people you love know that you love them. Make sure that. Don't, don't take that for granted. Well, they know. They know I love them. Well, well maybe they want to hear you say that sometimes. So, you know, anyway, just you just need to think about that. You know, don't take stuff like that for granted. Don't take life for granted. This is so short anyways. I feel like it was just yesterday that I turned 43. Here I am, 63. I'm still working. I'm healthy. Knock on wood, I'm still healthy, you know. So, anyway, that's the deal. Uh so, got to show what I'm carrying today. Uh, got this big 75, this tanned uh, Micarta. If you've, never, if you've never had a 75, it's just basically a farm ranch knife. Try it out. It's a great, great knife, man. Fits in your hand good. One of my carries today. Uh, got this, got this, uh, bug out. I was watching uh, Knife Center, David C. Anderson giving the new knives uh, they got, and he had a bench made on there. And that, what was, I can't think of the name of that thing. He had, he had two of them. And those things were like, I can't remember the exact price, but they were like, and I'm thinking, my wife said, golly. I said, Never, never would I pay that much for a knife. I mean, they were like in excess of $400, $500. I'm like, eh, gosh, you know. And I'm not knocking people. If you want to do that, hey, that's you. It, it's just not something I'm going to do. But I'm carrying this bug out. And, you know, I've actually looked on eBay, and I have seen some for 130 bucks. So, Hopefully, if this one ever breaks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get me, try to find me another one on eBay. Uh, and I bet y'all can guess my next knife. Uh, my Saudi. I always got a Saudi. Chestnut bone. Great, great, great knife. And I, she's very sharp. I just sharpened it a while, a while ago, so. Is that a word, a while ago? I don't know. It's a southern word, a while ago. What does that mean? I don't know, a while ago, you know, earlier on. So, yeah. Great knife. Sitting here. I had done had my coffee. I'm having the Lord's. Sorry, Rector. Having having my Lord's drink. Uh, so, anyway, carrying that. Got me a Parker Jotter in black. I love my jotters. I collect a few of them. But, uh, yeah, so, great trip to the mountains. It took us in a, took us a nice way. We went, we went through Smoky Mountains. There's my little pocket organizer. I got this in my pocket every day. I swapped my ink pen out, and I got this polka. Got this camouflage polka pen. Ain't that cool? I'm telling you, man, these are some cool little knives. They're lightweight. And I bought this little cap and this little pocket clip. You know, great, great EDC knife. I mean, not knife, but pen. There's me a blooper, but great EDC pen. So I carry it in this, and I carry my little Remington knife pick. No reason, just just because I think they're cool. But uh, so this stays in here. Carry it in my pocket. So. 
anyway that's my video sorry it's late i apologize but i just had some other things to do and uh it was my wife's aunt so you know just a you know big deal it was a beautiful funeral it was little but it was up on a mountain top and the view i'm gonna put some pictures on instagram of the church the church was built in 1825 and i'm on a i've got a few pictures i took so be checking out my instagram uh, but y'all have a great day and god bless you i got a video coming uh this week a couple of them but i'm gonna do one uh on uh why i carry and why i like sod busters I'm gonna do a video on that, why why I carry. And I'm not gonna have all of my sod busters on. I'm gonna have two or three, but <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a video on why I enjoy sod busters and why I carry them and why I like them. So that video will be coming. I met, a, I met there's a YouTube channel called Metcalf Mills. Uh, and uh, so I, I, it's a guy that's related to my wife and I got to meet him. I wa I've been watching his videos on YouTube since he since he he uh, got started. His name's Justin, Justin Metcalf. He calls himself Justro, but he's from the mountains up there. He's from Mars Hill and he lives back in the woods. You know, well not back in the woods. He's he's a farmer and he he does all kinds of stuff. He's got a great channel, Metcalf Mills. So see if you can find it. I think you'd enjoy it. Uh, and he carries every now and then. He'll pull out a big sod buster. So, uh, great, great channel. He puts his daughters on there sometime. And uh, just a great channel. So, anyways, God bless you. If you like this video, I appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment. Leave a comment. You know, tell me what you think. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the bell. Y'all have a great week. And remember, keep your knife sharp. God bless.